Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing Getting to Know You episodes 47 and 48 and plus I'm going to show you a little bit of progress on something. So I'll see you in a sec. So welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and we are doing two episodes of Getting to Know You at last week's and this week's. So that's episodes 47 and 48. And um, so there's not really a lot to go over outside of a ton of, you know, going over the tick marks of everybody's favorite stuff, which I know is something everybody enjoys. So I'm happy about that. Um, and of course, remember today's the day that you enter subscriber of the week for this week, letting me know on what day, what changed in the background. The screen does not count. That's just here because I can't physically move this, the stuff that is behind it that I typically would to get out of the camera view. Um, but it's just what's up here on the cabinet. So I know the flowers like probably should be already in the garbage. <laughs> However, I didn't want to do it because I needed consistency, right? So anyway, um, I'm going to be recording this video right now as well as a Happy Mail video tonight. And I'm hoping to also get Monday's video recorded. This is Saturday evening or Saturday night, I should say. Um, the reason why I'm trying to do all these today is because getting to know you needs to be up by tomorrow. I mean, for sure, because it's typically Friday, but we all know how that's been going. Happy mail, just because I want to get that up there. But Mondays I want to do today because I am supposed to be getting two root canals done on Monday. As long as it's still scheduled that way, which that's just another story. So anyway, I know I'm not going to be in the mood to want to record or anything. Miley, um, record a video on Monday or anything. And I may have to pause this to take a bone away from Miley because she is breaking it. And she keeps getting little shards stuck I mean, they come out, but, um, yeah, anyway, so if I have to pause it, I apologize. Um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and go over getting to know you. I'm going to show you progress on something that I just started today and because it's something we're going to touch on today is why I'm going to show it to you today. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do happy mail. Oh, and the reason why I'm not, I can't do it tomorrow, Sunday is because, um, I'm going to have, I'm for sure going to have to do Uber in the evenings, Uber Eats, uh, because tonight I didn't do it like I was supposed to, even though there were great incentives, uh, because they, we've, we're having major storms roll in and it was so windy earlier. I mean like crazy windy. And then we had some rain and then it stopped and then ton of rain again and now it's stopped and we're supposed to get another wave in so yeah that's why i'm not even going to try to upload this tonight because with all the storms my wi-fi in my place is ridiculously slow so it's just gonna have to happen tomorrow but i may do uber eats in the afternoon and evening tomorrow so i can kind of make up what i was going to do today because i am ordering some stuff and i want to be able to I'm trying to be really good with some, like I, when I spend something, I'm trying to just make it up so that, you know, it, anyway, you guys understand, right? I mean, finances anyway. So, um, yeah, so let's get into getting to know you, uh, 47 and 48. I'm also going to announce the winner of not last week's, but the week before subscriber of the week. Now the week before that's subscriber of the week never reached out to me to give me her address. I, that's not something I'm going to be redrawing for because you know, I mean, it's a card and, and stickers. Uh, but I'm hoping she sees this video and we'll go back. Um, anyway, so I will be announcing this week's subscriber of the week winner tonight. And then again, remember this is now for anybody new subscriber of the week is when I, I choose a subscriber once a week on Friday that lets me know, and I forgot to think of a multiple choice question, remind me, hopefully I remember, but um, things have been really crazy. And for those of you that are on my Facebook group, you understand where my brain has been. But anyway, um, subscriber of the week, I ch my escape back here, one day out of my three videos that I record in front of this background, I change something, either remove something, add something, or something like that. And on Fridays, if you let me know what day, what changed and, or, well, and it, it, when I do a multiple choice question, because some people just don't like to have to follow the, uh, the scape. If you either t 
tell me, well, yeah, and or. You could either do one or the other. Let me know what changed on the scape on what day, or you can answer the question, or you could do both. And then on Fridays, I um, do use the YouTube Random Comment Picker to choose a winner, and this, my subscriber of the week gets a card from me with a set of stickers. It's my way of being able to say thank you to more of my subscribers than just when I do a milestone giveaway, which is an, and like a special occasion giveaway, which remember Miley's birthday month giveaway was posted on Wednesday, I believe, in Wednesday's video. So make sure if you haven't entered, it ends on the 21st of April. So make sure to go there. I'll go ahead and link it in the cards. Oops, I think the cards are up here. Whichever way it is, I'll link it in the cards above as well as in the description box and the top pinned comment. So you guys can go and watch that video and enter if you haven't already done so. Um, but that's my way of being able to say thank you to more people. I would love to be able to send everybody something, but I unfortunately can't. Um, and I mean, if I had superfluous funds and didn't have to worry about anything, I would send every single one of you something, you know, to say thank you because I truly appreciate every single one of you. And I know what it is to take the time out to support, you know, different channels. So thank you in advance for that. So that's the subscriber of the week that I'm talking about. And then of course, Miley's birthday month giveaway from that was posted on Wednesday. Well, actually it was posted on Thursday, but it was supposed to be Wednesday's video. Um, that is another giveaway I'm doing right now. And we also have our almost 1250 subscriber giveaway, which I will link in the cards above whichever way it is. I can't remember. Um, as well as the description box below in the top pin comment. If you are, many of you are new, so you may not have seen that video, but make sure to go ahead and enter it as soon as we reach 1250 subscribers, which we're at 1235 right now. Um, then I will do a drawing for that giveaway as well. So lots of stuff going on. Um, but that's kind of the gist of what it is that I kind of do. And then on Monday and Wednesday videos, which are Mondays are my local yarn shop tours. And then Wednesday are my, is my, um, small online business, um, video. Those two series, when you let me know on Monday and Wednesday's videos, what your favorite is, or even I, I prefer if you say my favorite is, but you can also say, oh my God, I love or whatever. That kind of gives me the idea that. It's maybe your favorite. <laughs> um, when you let me know what your favorite is, whether it's something I showed you that I got from there that day, or if you go to their sites and let me know what the favorite is, or if you just say the whole thing is your favorite, that's an automatic entry into um, a surprise future giveaway because I give once a month it's been, but it's never on the same day or the same week. And I never announce it until I announce the winner. Um, but I give every Monday and Wednesday video a number and then I use a number uh, generator to pick a number. Then I go to that video and then I use the YouTube random comment picker to pick a winner. And then I announce on the next video that would be next, I go ahead and announce who the surprise giveaway winner is and what they win. So that's another way for me to say thank you to you guys without, ha and I've had a lot of local yarn shops and or small businesses donate. I think I've had like 12 or 13 of them donate um, something for giveaways. So that is awesome. And thank you to all of you, whoever is watching. Um, but anyway, so that's the lowdown on what it is, how I do things on my channel. And then Fridays we do getting to know you, which I go, or Friday, Saturday, or Sunday these days, but um, I go over all the videos, comments, and if there were any questions, com ideas, tips, tricks, um, whatever the case is, I go ahead and jot that down, and then we kind of go over it on, on the Getting to Know You episode so that we all know, we all can kind of learn from each other and the questions that we may not have realized we had, somebody else may have answered or asked, and then I can answer it, or... You know, I ask you guys a question and then I kind of let you know what the answers were or responses that I got. And I also go over the tick marks of all the favorite things or whatever it is that we've done in the previous videos of that week. And that's been something that a lot of people are enjoying. Also getting to know kind of sort of what everybody likes. So now that I've wasted all of your time explaining what it is that I do on my channel, not to mention the fact we talk a lot about yarn recently or as since January, but also crochet and yes, I'll be pulling out my needles again at some point, just it's not yet, but that all kind of gets, is part of the channel also. So welcome to all of our new subscribers and of course, welcome back to everyone else. Thank you all so incredibly much 
for your support. I really do genuinely appreciate every single one of you. Um, and if you are new, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to that. Make sure you hit it to or set it to all so you get notified anytime I upload a video. I have three regular videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not sure which day it ends up uploading. As well as a live on Tuesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, but if you hit it to the notification bell at all, it'll let you know when I upload. And then, of course, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like button for this video, especially if you appreciate and or enjoy the content in it, I would appreciate that. And commenting as you all do and sharing, thank you in advance for all of that. And now on to what we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> so getting to know you episode 47 and 48. Um, there were a couple of questions. Uh, Tracy asked if Viola's, um, the I think it was local yarn shop tour number 11 if i'm not mistaken which is um viola's emporium and the stitch niche um tracy was wondering if she dabbles in consignment because towards the end of the video you saw like um two chairs and a table and a couple other things well i called her up and i asked and she said yes she does um dabble in it but it's items of her friends so her friend will bring stuff in and she will go ahead and sell them on consignment in the store so that's that answer then oh yeah Reggie uh, Reggie asked um, how did okay this is from local yarn shop tour number 12 which is the knit nook but their yarn brand name is olive and to you and Reggie was wondering how they came up with that name olive and to you uh, which we all know what yous are but um i reached out to them and asked that question because i didn't think to ask them thank you reggie because <laughs> that is i was actually interested in that but i just forgot to ask they said they wished that it was a better story but they just did some brainstorming and then that's how it came up and that's all it was um but they did say they wish there was a better story <laughs> behind it but that's brainstorming and voila olive and the two yous or to you um okay so that is that now oh yeah also um on local yarn shop tour number 12s no i'm sorry on wednesday or on the um uh, on this week's uh small online business video i also included a store that i found in celebration um florida when i went to the knit nook uh there was a um um, like an outside market and I found a small vendor there that's um, essentials it's supposed to be I think it's supposed to be pronounced essentials but they do it with a Z but essential metaphysical shop they sell um, crystals and stones and stuff like that well I I was waiting to hear back from them to find out where it was that they're located on Sundays because you know I figured that's important especially if you happen to be in the Disney area or Kissimmee area or even Orlando, if you wanted to take like a 25 to 45, depending on where you are, mile drive, um, you can get to Celebration and actually see them. Actually, they're they're in Claremont, so I'm not quite sure where that is in com, com, you know in relation to Kissimmee and stuff. But they can be found on Sundays um, at Montrose Street and Seventh at Downtown Claremont Farmers Market every Sunday. So you can always look up downtown Claremont Farmers Market and it, I'm sure it'll give you an exact location I should have just done that I will make sure to look that up and if I can find an exact location I will put it in the description box in the top pin comment but otherwise um, that is where you can find them every Sunday they have there they have two tents and six tables versus the one tent and three tables that I saw them at so on to the rest of getting to know you so as far as tips, tricks, ideas, that type of a thing, um, I had reached out asking if anybody uh, had a favorite, um, not necessarily beginner, but more beginner advanced versus like advanced um, knitted beaded shawl because the pattern that I have and the um, yarn and beads that I have for it is really more advanced and I want to be able to practice on something and the yarn shop I'm going to be sharing with you guys on Monday 
uh, she has a couple patterns. I just need to um, confirm which ones they are, but I'm wanting to practice on something that's more beginner, adv advanced beginner friendly because I haven't knitted in several years and I just want to get my, you know, my uh, mojo back on that so that I can go ahead and ultimately do the pattern that I'm wanting to do that I got the yarn and the beads for. So um, anyway, that was one thing that I was asking about. And then I also asked about, um, oh, I thought, oh yeah, I had asked about um, if anybody had any suggestions for Yarn Swift and um, Ball Winder, but I'm going to go into that because I have mine here. <laughs> Yay, I shared it on my live, but I'm going to be doing a Happy Mail video next and I'll be sharing that with you guys. But Anyway, so um, I wanted to thank Natalie uh, for le suggesting Kristen Omdahl uh, to check out her. She has a beaded scarf um, pattern, so I haven't looked it up, but I will. So thank you for that, Natalie. I appreciate that. And then um, I, I, can't, I, I can't remember how to pronounce her channel name. Um, is it Chatelaine or Chatelaine Makes? Um, thank you. You suggested uh, Knitting Turnpike. Uh, and that Gina has a lot of beaded and non-beaded knitted shawls and tutorials. Um, I did look at least, but I haven't actually um, really researched a lot. But thank you for that information. I really do appreciate that as well. And then, of course, thank you everyone for all of your birthday wishes for Miley. She just went back into the room. You guys were hearing her chomping on her bone. And I think she ate a little bit, but she is in the room now and relaxing. She says hello to her peeps, though. <laughs> um, for any of you that are new and wonder who Miley is, Miley is my beautiful, almost four-year, yeah, almost four-year-old um, Belgian Malinois. She's three-quarter Belgian Malinois and a quarter German Shepherd dog. Um, and she is part of the channel, a big part of the channel. She's always on my lives, and yeah. So anyway, thank you all for her birthday wish, uh, her birthday month wishes. So thank you. All right. So now we're gonna get into the tick marks. We're gonna go over Viola's Emporium, which was not this past this past week's, but next last week's um, local yarn shop tour. We'll go through that, and then we're gonna go through Fiber uh, Fiber Forbidden Fiber Company and Expression Fiber Arts, which was last week's. Um, two shops that I uh, shared with you on Wednesday and then we'll go over tick marks for the knit nook which was this past Monday but posted on Tuesday and then in the crochet corner in the wandering flock um, from this past Wednesday posted on Thursday <laughs> and then the question the multiple choice question I asked for Miley's birthday month giveaway we'll go over the tick marks of that as well all right, so for Viola's Emporium, um, there are a bunch of different sections because there are a bunch of different um, favorite categories. With one tick mark, we have the skate that there were, um, someone said that they liked that there were more skeins versus hanks of yarn. So that was one tick mark. Then the, um, oh, I think it said on chair, the anti Anton Macassar. I couldn't quite, I didn't know how to pronounce that and who, and you will know who you are that ha said that was your favorite. Um, and then the vin that the fact that there were a lot of vintage buttons got one tick mark, um, that there were uh, quite a bit of plant fiber yarn options got one tick mark. My, um, concept chain spun yarn that I showed you guys got one tick mark. Uh, Oh yeah, Ophelia, the Ophelia fur and the Poems Ombre yarns got one tick mark. The Barocco Modern Cotton got a tick mark. The Jelly Bean yarn got a tick mark. My yarn as a whole got a tick mark, the ones that I showed you guys. And the fact that they have a lot of embroidery surprise got a tick mark, as well as the Bumblebee that I showed you that I got for myself and for my mom got a tick mark. Then with two tick marks, we've got my blue yarn that I showed you, the sequin yarn that I showed you, as well as the just the location and the fact that it was a house got two tick marks. Um, the handmade gift sets got two tick marks, and that's it for that. And then we the next one was four tick marks for the neon yarn. Four of you loved the neon yarn, which you all know I did too. And then the winner, or not the winner, but the one with the most, hold on a second, guys. 
Um, the one with the most was just the entire store. That got five tick marks. You guys just love the entire thing. And yeah, so that was it for Viola's Emporium. Now on to last week when our small business, small online business, um, that was Forbidden Fiber Co. and Expression Fiber Arts. Let's see. Um, with two tick, well, with one tick mark, okay, someone went on to Fiber, Forbidden Fiber Co.'s website. And as I mentioned to you guys, they have a bunch of different, um, like, themed, like, there's um, Harry Potter and uh, Wizard of Oz. I mean, they have a ton of different themed, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of the word. But anyway, uh, one person, there was a tick mark for multiple I, uh, yarns from the actual shop, from the Wizard of Oz section. Glinda, Emerald City, Lollipop Guild, Dorothy, and Ruby Slippers were their favorite. Um, this is based on what the favorites are that you guys tell me. So that was with one tick mark for that, that yarn. Then we had two tick marks for Fiber Co's store in general. You guys went to their website and you just enjoyed their entire shop. Next was with three tick marks for Forbidden Fiber Co's, the My Yarn Bag, and the yarn, that, the mini set that I showed you guys. Three of you, that was your favorite of what I showed. Uh, and then three tick marks for you liked it both. What I showed you from Expression Fiber Arts and what I showed you from Forbidden Fiber Co. Then we had four tick marks with Expression Fiber Arts store as a whole. You guys just love all of her stuff, her patterns, her yarn, her everything. So that's awesome. I do too. And then the winner was with five tick marks, which was my yarn that I showed you from her shop, which were these two in the corner, but I don't think you can see them. Anyway... Then I had asked you guys if you thought the coral and the lavender yarns that I chose, one was Expression Fiber Arts, one was the Knitting Artist, if you thought they would go together for the um, yarn coitus mal that Chevis with um, Chevy Roll Stuff is doing for, eight, well, it ends April 30th. Nobody said they didn't think it was going to go well together, but seven of you specifically said, yes, absolutely, 100%, it'll go together. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. All right, so then on to the Knit Nook, which was this week's local yarn shop tour number 12, I believe it was. Um, again, many um, categories, but with one tick mark, I'm actually surprised. Nobody said just the entire, well, actually, many of you said you loved the entire store, but then you specifically said what your favorite was. Um, but, uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought for just a second. Anyway, okay, I think I got it back, I don't know. All right, so with one tick mark, um, my midnight yarn that I showed you, the black, that's that one right there. Um, one of you said that you absolutely, you don't really get into black yarn, but you loved that one. Then, um... The mini hanks, someone said you really love the setup of the mini, or the mini hanks. Then someone said, uh, one person said the backstory and how they got, you know, how they were friends, or they knew each other at work and then they kind of fell away from each other and both built their families and then they happened to meet back up and realized they have a love of fiber now and decided they wanted to start dying and then after that, they decided they wanted to share it with everybody. So then Olive and Two You came about, and now they have their online website, which is their primary you know way that they sell. But then they came up with the Knit Nook also. So that was the backstory. Then one person said their website in general you loved, um, and then uh, oh, someone went onto their website and they said that their favorite uh, their favorite of anything was the celebration, the. Marsh Monster, I think, or March Monster, I can't remember. Stinky Pink and Blossoming. Those were four of your favorite yarns, but that was that got one tick mark. But you went onto their site, you loved those yarns. And then someone said they loved the merino blends that there were. And then someone said the brilliant blue colorway. I think was no, I didn't show you. I, the, oh yeah, in the store, that was something that someone really really loved. That was their favorite. That was all with one tick mark. Then. Um, next, I really should just write this out better with three tick marks were the beast hanks. Those were on like when you, were, when I was standing like facing Carolyn, 
she had the back wall of yarn but then on this side the bottom row those were the beast hanks are like 600 i think yards is what she said three of you said that was your favorite i totally get what you're saying i loved it too then with four tick marks was the christmas remix yarn that i pointed out saying that is awesome and she pulled it out and she said they kind of remixed christmas adding uh bright pink and purple totally right there with you on that as well then we had a tie with five tick marks as far as the yarn walls in general just the two yarn walls you guys just loved it and then five of you said the two yarns that i showed you which were those two that baby pink and that black that that was your favorite and then the top tick mark was six tick marks for the fact that they name their bases after authors well not all of them but for the most part all of their bases most of their bases are named after authors and that was a favorite up for six people. Okie dokie. Now on to this week's um, small online business, which also includes Essentials Metaphysical Shop in Celebration, Florida. Um, let's see here. Okay, we have with one tick mark, uh, in from In the Crochet Corner, you loved the yarn from there ouchie which was i think that one right there if i'm not mistaken uh, that was a favorite then um for the wandering flock there was a tick mark for their entire shop then someone went onto the website and said their favorite for that day was the moonrise um yarn and somebody else said the sunsets in brooklyn that one had was the someone's favorite then for essentials metaphysicals um one person said their store was their favorite and then let's see we had two that said both of the yarn or i only showed you my yarn flock oh that both of the yarns that i showed the one from in the crochet corner and the one from the wandering flock was their favorite so two people said that then uh, two people said the giveaway color for Miley's birthday month giveaway, the, the giveaway color was their favorite. Two people said that. Then next we had four tick marks for Essentials Metaphysical Shops Facebook and or Instagram um, uh, links. Four of them said that was their favorite for the day. And then the top one was with eight tick marks for my pink yarn, which was I think, ouch, ouch, yeah, I think it's this one was the one from uh, The Wandering Flock, if I'm not mistaken, but that was the absolute favorite of the day with eight people saying that. All right, now we're going to do the tick marks on my, the, the um, question I asked for Miley's birthday month giveaway that you needed to answer in order to enter the giveaway which was which of the following would be your favorite collectible so if you were traveling or if you went to see a broadway show or a concert or whatever the case is what would be your favorite collectible and the options were magnet mug shot glass postcard or t-shirt now several people mentioned other things because i said either you can let me know well not really any of them but if i had to choose one of those it would be a magnet but I really like to collect this and then you let me know what it was and I know I always ask for one of them but you can always tell me multiple like I collect magnet t-shirt and postcard that's totally fine which several of you had said oh it's so hard to choose one but these are the ones that I would choose so anyway let's get on with that so with one tick mark these were individuals, these were things that I didn't list. Um, Chris said amethyst collectibles because she asked me if I had seen an amethyst heart that Essentials um, put onto their uh, Facebook page, which I didn't see that, Chris. I need to go and check it out. It may already be gone. I don't know. But uh, Chris said amethyst collectibles she really likes. Um, and then Tammy said small silver spoons and thimbles. I didn't even think about those. Uh, but yes, small silver spoons, you see those as collectible items when you go and, you know, if you're traveling. One tick mark for Anita with stickers because she says she lo loves magnets, but she'll sometimes get stickers and then just put them on magnets. Awesome idea. And then Denise said, and the only reason I'm mentioning the names is because um, there was just, it was a specific thing that each of these people said outside of what I 
had as the multiple choice. So then Denise said um, sweatshirts and uh, bumper or window stickers. Um, and then Janice said fabric. Uh, she also said, she said fabric and I think magnet, but the fabric was also an interest, uh, another, and some, they also said one of my options. I just don't remember which option it was that they said. And then Karen said key rings, which that's another great one also. Uh, but let's see, as far as the options that I gave, uh, two tick marks went to postcards. Then we had six tick marks for shot glasses. We had seven tick marks for mugs. Um, 10 tick marks for t-shirts and then the winner what with uh, 12 tick marks were the magnets which I love collecting magnets from anywhere you know whether I have like Wicked, Stomp, um, the Dolly Museum, um, uh, SeaWorld, Greece you know Wit oh Wicked again yeah and then I have you know a bunch of different states and countries and stuff like that a bunch are in storage because um, I just didn't have room and when I moved, uh, when I got divorced, um, and I took down my magnets, I had them in a little bit, um, like a bin and I know where it is. It's actually in my closet. Just, yeah. Anyway, so thank you all so incredibly much. Those of you that entered the giveaway again, remember I have it linked for Miley's, um, birthday month giveaway. Make sure you go and check it out and enter if you haven't done so already as well as our almost 1250 subscriber giveaway, which again is also linked in the bottom or in the description box in the top pinned comment. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm trying to find a place to put my notebook without having to bend anywhere, although I have to bend to get my um, drink because my throat is very dry. Excuse me. Um, all right. So, now I'm going to show you quickly um, the start of my yarn coitus. Now, the pattern that I decided that I liked the pattern for the fade. Okay, the yarn coitus, what that is, um, Shevas did a yarn, coit yarn coitus mal. And what it is, is you are supposed to find two different um, yarns from two different independent dyers and then have them fade together to make a pattern, which means they are ha they are making a baby, right? I mean, it's a yarn coitus. Look up the word if you don't know what it is. But they come together and they fade into a project and they make a baby. And then you go ahead and you post whatever your finished project is with the hashtag um, yarn coitus mal which is a make along and then um you know Sh Sh Shevas can go ahead and see all of these projects that are being done well i just i just found the hanks this morning <laughs> um and i the pattern that i will ultimately do because i have the yarn picked out for it i'll be sharing that with you on monday um it's the amsterdam crochet your fade shawl it's a paid pattern so i can't show you the actual pattern itself but um, I'm not actually doing this shawl for this mal. That's the shawl right there. I'm not actually doing, and I'm only using two colors, not three. Um, I'm not doing this actual pattern for the mal because um, I don't, I, I, I needed something quick. So I'm just doing my own pattern for a scarf following the fade part of this pattern as far as how they ended up fading the colors together. I'm going to do that with the two colors that I have. Um, but then, like I said, I have the yarn that I'm gonna share with you on Monday for this pattern that I'm gonna ultimately do at some point. But I was wanting a crochet fade pattern versus a knit one. And it was very difficult for me to find any that I really liked the way it was done. And when I was at the local yarn shop toward the uh, local yarn shop that I'm gonna share on Monday, she had several um, samples in the store of crocheted faded um, uh, faded crocheted patterns. So I was looking at them and this is one of the ones that she said she really likes because you really can't tell. Now you're gonna be able to tell with mine because it's coral and lavender. So I mean, there's going to be an obvious, you know, you're gonna see that it's changing versus having two different like, um, um, variegated 
um, but similarly colored different yarns you know what I mean so you're going to be able to obviously see it but I liked the way it actually faded the best so I started it today again it's just a it's going to be a scarf um this is the start of it with the coral and then it's going to slowly but surely not for a while I still have quite a few rows to do but then it's going to ultimately fade with the lavender and then finish off on the other side with the lavender so um, I had asked many of you, or I had asked you on one of the videos if you thought these two would go well together in a fade. And like I, like I told you guys with the tick marks, um, anyone that did answer that question said, absolutely, they're going to look great together. So I'm excited to see that. I don't, I'm hoping I'll have it done in time to be able to enter it for her make along. But if not, I'll still send it to her so she could see it and of course share it with you guys. Um, I do also need to really start working a lot more on my mom's blanket so I can finish that for her because I know she really, really wants it. And I've been, I've literally not had time to stitch anything for quite a while. I did this at my mom's appointment today. So anyway, I, we are done with getting to know you. Um, so I'm going to do a separate video with happy mail. I have a bunch of it. I don't know if anything came in today. I didn't check the post office, but, um, anyway, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Again, it's going to post sometime tomorrow. I don't know when, uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You guys had a wonderful weekend. Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. My mom, of course, as always, says hello, and we all appreciate the thoughts and prayers. You guys are you guys are sincerely awesome. Thank you so incredibly much. And um, remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And if you don't want to share it in public that you do, you can feel free to email me privately, DM me, PM me, text me. However you know how to get a hold of me privately, go ahead and feel free to um, get a hold of me privately. And, um, oh yeah, and remember, if you're still here, you're probably already on my mailing list. But if you would like to be added to my mailing list so that you could get a Christmas card for sure, and if I happen to know your birthday, um, you would likely get a birthday card and or another holiday card. But anyway, feel free to email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So have a great rest of your day and I hope you guys had a great weekend and I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. Bye. Hello everyone. Okay, sorry guys. I forgot to announce the subscriber of the week winner for the week before last. So I am going to add that here as well as give you the multiple choice question that I also forgot to mention um, or ask so that you can enter this week's subscriber of the week. That way, if you don't want to let me know what changed on the scape. So the winner for last the week before last subscriber of the week is... Congratulations, Brianna. I'm so excited for you. Please um, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com with your address and I will get your card and stickers out. Thank you again so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Now, as for the multiple choice question, I don't, I'm, I don't have my tripod here and I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of look a little <laughs> yeah, disheveled, but um, my question is a little bit different than I normally do and, and I hope this doesn't offend anybody. We're just having fun. We're all adults here, right? I think. <laughs> no, I think all of my followers are adults. But anyway, uh, my question is, uh, what lets your partner know when you're in the mood? Like when you're a little frisky. Is it music, candles, warm oil, sexy clothing, or maybe some champagne? Um, if... If you can choose one or a, but all of them or whatever, you can say all of them or a couple, you know, whatever, that would be awesome. If it's something different that you do, feel free to answer that as well, um, which you all do. You normally will say, okay, well, uh, out of those, it would be music, but I normally do this or whatever the case is. So hope, like I said, this doesn't offend anybody. I figured though to have a little bit of fun. Um, so yeah. Let me know and um, that will be, you can either answer that to enter subscriber of the week for this week or let me know what changed on the scape and what day it changed or you can answer both. So have fun with it and um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually insert this into the video or if I'll just have it at the end. So I'll know who watched till the end, that's for sure.
All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Or, yeah, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye. Really?